Hello everyone, this is Professor Robert Solis and welcome to this next video lesson. We're going to be creating a Visual Basic program that in essence uses the distance formula. I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, but the distance is equal to rate times time. So in other words, if a, the rate is the speed. If I'm going 40 miles per hour and I'm traveling one hour, well then the distance will be 40 hours, or 40 miles I should say. Uh, so we're going to ask the user for how fast they're driving. Uh, we're going to ask the you know how long you're going to drive. Uh, I should say in terms of time, right? So how many hours? And at that point, we can use this distance equation. Distance equals rate times time. We can calculate the distance, and it looks like we have a sentence to display. So there's some string text along with the numbers, and then we're going to get the value over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and create that Visual Basic program. I'm going to open up the toolbox, and I'm going to drag and drop a button a label and also a text box. Let me drag the label to the upper left hand corner and let me switch back over here. It looks like this is supposed to say how fast are you driving parens mph. Okay, so for the text property, how fast are you driving parens mph miles per hour um, question mark and then I'll put a text box next to that but first I better open up the form a little bit give me a little bit of space here something like that that looks good and then I'll just take these two copy and paste them put them underneath the second question I need to ask is how long are you driving no I'm sorry how long are you going to drive and then in terms of value I want an hour so how long are you going to drive how long are you you going to drive and then parens uh, I'll put you know hours or I just put hour I guess question mark all right that text is a little bit longer so I better go ahead and take this text box move it over I'll do the same thing over here so everything looks symmetrical okay looks good and I have a button over here that says calculate distance so move this over here calculate distance All right, uh, once I've done that, I can go ahead and place a 3D label down here. So I'll just take this label, copy and paste it. And I'll make this auto size false, border style fix 3D. And I'll make sure that the text is aligned such that it's centered, middle center. And if I were to do something like this, resize it to something like this, a little bit bigger than the button, that looks good. Uh, there's not supposed to be any initial text in there, of course, so I'll hit backspace to get rid of that text. Let me resize the form so it looks as symmetrical as possible. That looks pretty good. I'm going to get rid of the minimize and the maximize box by double clicking here, double clicking here for maximize and minimize box. Now this is gone. Let me go ahead and change the caption here. That's supposed to say distance equals rate times time. Okay. So distance equals rate times time. Looks pretty good. Let me save my work. And now let's go ahead and create the uh, names or the identification for each of the different text boxes button in the label. So over here, that's a text box. So we're going to use the Hungarian notation um, TXT, and we'll just say uh, MPH for miles per per hour. And then over here, TXT, I'll just say time, right? Because that's what they're going to enter in terms of hours. How many hours are they driving? This will be um, BTN calc distance and then finally this will be LBL result okay save all let's double click the button so we can go into the code area and we start off with our comments declarations get user input calculation and then finally output for the declarations section, I need to go back to the form here and consider what are those items that are going to be input and output. So over here, we definitely need the rate, we need the time, and then this is the output. So dim rate as double, dim time as double, and then uh, dim output as string. We'll set that initially equal to blank or nothing. Let's go ahead and get the user input. So rate is going to come from the text box, but first I have to convert that to a double. And then I can say TXT, and that's basically the miles per hour, dot text. 
in terms of the time. Again, we have to convert dot to double. And I type in txt, and that's coming from the time text box. So I'll double click that dot text. Now I have my user input. So I can perform the calculation. And in this put, and in this case, I'm trying to find the distance. Now I don't have a distance um, equation over here, or distance variable, I should say. So I'll just create one dim distance as double. Now some of you may be thinking, well, hey, Professor Solis, how did you know to create that? Well, that's really the whole point of what's being displayed down here is the distance. We're going to calculate for the distance by using this equation, distance equals rate times time. So that's how I thought, well, I need this to set it equal to something. Namely, distance is going to, oops, sorry, distance is going to be the rate times the time. Well, once I have that, I can go ahead and display the output and lbl result.text. Now, this is going to be in uh, initially a string, right? If you drive, okay, so if you drive space concatenation operator, what? Uh, the, a number, the number that was entered here. Well, I have that number, that's the rate. So let me go ahead and um, just simply say, you know, convert dot to string, whatever the rate is. Okay, and then what am I supposed to do? If you drive 35 and then I'll put a space and then MPH4, okay, so space MPH4 space. All right, so that's an, another part of the string that needs to be sent out to the output. I'm gonna use the concatenation operator for the next part. And it looks like I'm gonna put uh, the number However, however many hours the user drove, right? So I have that, that's the time. So I'll just put over here time, oh, convert dot. So actually, let me just press enter so it goes to the next line. Convert dot to string, whatever the time is, ampersand. And then after the time, space, hours, comma, you'll travel. Okay, so space, um, wait, is that right? Oh, hours had to display. Sorry, sorry about that. So it's supposed to be space hours, comma you'll drive space. Okay, that takes care of that sentence right there, or that string. Then there's a space. I have to display the number of miles, and that's the distance. So over here, another ampersand, and then convert dot to string, whatever the distance is, and then I'll concatenate that. I'm going to press enter so I can continue on the next line. And then finally the word miles. So space and then the word miles. So over here, space, miles, period, close quote. That should do it. All right, let's see what happens. So I'm going to press F5 or I'll run the program over here. Let's see here. So if I were to, oops, sorry, Forgot that program's running a little slow. Here we go. If I were to travel 35 miles per hour for two hours, then let's see here. If you drive 35 miles per hour for two hours, you'll drive 70 miles. That's correct, because 35 times 2 is 70. How about this? So I typically drive 65 miles per hour on the freeway. And if I drive for one hour, let me see. If you drive 65 miles per hour for one hour, you'll, you'll drive 65 miles. So I don't like that, how it says hours. I need to fix the program. Maybe I'll do that at a future date where if the user types in one, use the word hour. If it's anything other than one, then we'll use the word hours. That's just an if statement, but that's not the purpose of the video lesson right here. It's just to make sure that we can add strings over here to the end based on the user values and then calculate the number of hours, so forth and so on. So in this case, if you drive 65 miles per hour for three hours, you'll drive 195 miles. Perfect. That looks good. So that's it. All right, so this is Professor Robert Solis. I hope this video lesson was helpful. Have a good day. We'll see you next time.